first call that I get was from my wife, basically just in a panic, saying Kay has been shot. And those are words that you never want to hear. For the first time since the Greenwood Park Mall shooting, a family sharing their traumatic experience as they file a lawsuit against the owners of the mall. We begin with IT Maid and the emotional interview with the Stewart family. They're the ones suing the owners of the Greenwood Park Mall and the security company working on the day of that shooting. Yeah, their oldest daughter was shot several times and other members of the family, they say their lives are, of course, changed forever because of what happened. IT Maid's Cody Fisher sitting down with the family and their lawyer to find out why they're suing. The Stewart family tells me that one of the reasons they're suing the owners of the Greenwood Park Mall is because they want to make sure that no other family ever has to experience the trauma that their family went through because of this shooting. Sam Stewart says his daughters were excited to go to Greenwood Park Mall on July 17th, 2022. You now have a chance to go to the mall, maybe see some friends, do some much needed school shopping, and, and get some food at the food court. Stewart's daughters were in the food court when Jonathan Saperman opened fire, killing Pedro Pineda, Rose Miriam Rivera de Pineda, and Victor Gomez. Stewart's daughter, Kaya, was also shot. The first call that I get was from my wife, basically just in a panic, saying Kay has been shot. And Those are words that you never want to hear. <clears throat> she says, I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's alive. Kaya lived, but the year and five months since the shooting has been very difficult. Has continual pain, uh, not currently able to work, um, concerns with going out in public, not wanting to be out at night. Stewart says Kaya's personality has changed as well. But she's lost something. Um, and I can see that, her mom can see it. The therapist that she's been seeing has acknowledged this as well. His youngest daughter was not shot, but still lives with the trauma of what she saw. Seeing your sister getting shot multiple times, seeing individuals dying in front of you, smelling the gun smoke in the air, seeing the blood on the ground. My youngest said, there was so much blood around that she could even sense or taste in her palate the iron from the blood in the air. That's something even beyond a horror movie. In their lawsuit, the stewards claim Simon Property Group and the security company Allied Universal had flaws in their security protocol that left them all vulnerable to a mass shooting. It's our belief that from Sapirman with this backpack, which is highly unusual. This is not a kid's backpack that you take to college with you. It is designed for carrying weapons. His age, the hat pulled down over his eyes, he fits the profile of a mass shooter, and they've got a room full of people that's supposed to be watching for those type of people, and they dropped the ball. And he was on their property somewhere between an hour and 10 to an hour and 20 minutes in a bathroom for over an hour that wasn't checked. I reached out via email to both Simon Property Group and Allied Universal to get a response to the lawsuit. Neither have responded. The lawyer representing the Stewart family tells me that it could take a very long time to resolve this lawsuit. Reporting at Greenwood Park Mall, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Mate.